um, solid modulus problem. You have the basic knowledge, basic uh, the required theories, just to summarize and then you'll be fine. So this is y equal x line. So this is another line. I'll take this is y equal 2x plus 1. Now, you know to find this intersection point. You know that we have to solve these two equations and we can find the intersection point. So we solved already. Y equal x and y equal 2x plus 1. You have to solve simultaneously and then job done. What will happen if uh, y equal mod x and y equal 2x plus 1? For y equal mod x equation graph is something going to be like this. You know how to draw mod x. Now here you need when you solve simultaneously you should have two answers. So got to take this point, you need the equation of this line. That is y equal x and y equal 2x plus 1 already you know. Do you know the equation of this line? You know this one already. y equal 2x plus 1. Now you need to find the equation of this line. Now we we'll consider modulus. Modulus minus 2 is 2. Modulus 2 also 2. Modulus star. Can be negative or positive. So when you have mod x, it can be negative x or positive x. So you have, we have already considered positive x, the other one is negative. Now, this is y equal minus x. Now when you solve, you can get this point. So this topic is finished now. If I summarize, we have to solve y equal mod x and y equal to x plus 1. Now we know that y can be minus x or y can be positive x. So to solve with y equal 2x plus 1. So y equal minus x from this root we have to solve with y equal uh, 2x plus 1 and this one y equal x is y equal 2x plus 1. Now two equations this one and this one from here you will get this answer when you solve and from here when you solve you will get this answer. This is y equal alpha equation and this is y equal beta equation. Now, when you solve those two equations, we have four answers. We should have four answers. Now, my question is, y equal mod alpha. So this is y equal alpha. 
y equal mod alpha and y equal beta. When you solve how many equations, how many intersection point uh, are we expecting? So now mod alpha, when it is become y equal mod alpha, what will happen? The mirror reflection of this part. So it's going to be like this. And now, how many points we will expect? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six answers we are expecting. Example. This is look like y equal mod sine x. This y equal alpha. So y equal mod sine x. And this one, let's say uh, y equal half. So when we solve this equation, we are expecting six answers. In this, in this section, we are not going to discuss with like y equal mod sine x and y equal 2x plus and this kind of graph. Um, however, if I show you so y equal mod sine x, and y equal half, those are the two, then um, when we take y equal half and there are two options, one is minus sine x, other one is sine x. So with y equal half and y equal half. So you will learn in trigonometry but you don't know that, but still you are learning, you don't know what is going on. Uh, you will solve this kind of equation, sine minus sine equal half, then sine equal minus half, and then sine x equal alpha, sine alpha, then x equal alpha. So likewise, you will get a lot of answers in uh, the trigonometric sections. So let's consider example. Uh, uh, 22. So we need to dx. This number 48. x minus 1. My, uh, minus 2. And x is a element of real numbers. So we have to solve this one with y equal uh, sorry, t x equal. Half x plus 3. Now we know that this x axis and this is t x axis. Now, t x equal 3 times. When you take this mod out, we have to write two options. One is x minus 1. I will write in a bracket. And the other one is the minus value of it. And we have to solve this one. So then we have two equations. T x equal 3 times x minus 1 minus 2 x minus 2 and uh, tx equal half x plus 3 the other option tx equal 3 times this one so minus 3 x minus 1 minus 2 and tx half x plus 3 so 3 times minus x minus 1. If you are not sure, put minus 1 here. So 3 times 1 minus 3, 3 and plus times minus 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 3, x minus 1. 
so this is equation one and equation two uh, and uh, this is three and this is two again so we can solve this with two ways one is uh, elimination method or substituting if you substitute one minus two then you can cancel out you can see tx minus tx equal 3 times x minus 1 minus 2 minus half x plus 3 and you have to solve or substitute if you use substitute you can tell that uh, substitute 2 to 1 so substitute 2 to 1 then uh, instead of this tx you can write half x plus 3 so half a x plus 3 equal 3 times x minus 1 uh, minus 2 so this is a linear equation and you have one solution when you get x uh, substitute uh, to find y uh, to any of those two and then you get the y value so same as you have to do this one so part a of this question is sketch the graph of the function so you can get this approach y equal x y equal mod x y equal mod x minus 1 and y equal 3 times mod x minus 1 and y equal 3 times uh, mod x minus 1 minus 2 or you can get y equal x y equal x minus 1 then y equal x minus mod 1 then y equal 3 x minus 1 then y equal 3 mod x minus 1 minus 2 this is y equal x and um, y equal x minus 1 so this is a translation the vertical I'll bring to minus 1 down so this is going to be 0 minus 1 y equal uh, x minus 1 so y equal 0 x equal 1 this root is going to be 0 so, uh, 1 0 this one and uh, now we have this one y equal x then we have to take the modulus when we take modulus mean the command is make all y value positive so in here when you look at the coordinates all y values are negative so the easy way is so this is the mirror mirror reflection so this my 0 minus 1 become 0 1 and this is the graph uh, let me quickly draw again I think so this is y equal x then y equal x minus 1 I'll translation to down and this is uh, 1 0 and um, then y equal mod x minus 1 this will become like this so this is going to be 0 uh, 1 This is x axis and y axis and part b uh, state the range of the function so y equal okay actually still i haven't done so this has to be 3 mod x minus 1 uh, minus 2 so then i have to multiply by this one 3 
so all the y value is so this is a vertical stretch so you will get this kind of graph all the y values of this coordinate multiply by 3 so then you will get this is a, a 0 3 and this is 1 0 and uh, yes this is y equal 3 mod x minus 1 and then I have to shift this one with two units down so the next one is y equal 3 this one so I had to bring two units down um, so 3 minus 2 it's a translation 3 minus 2 1 and this 0 become minus 2 so this is y equal 3 mod x minus 1 minus 2 y equal 3 mod x minus 1 minus 2 so this is y equal 3 mod x minus 1 now this is the graph Part B, we need to find the range. Mod x minus 1, minus 2. Then, uh, element of R. No, element of R mean the domain is going to be uh, the real numbers. Like all the x values of x axis when you put any number from here and you will get values to y so this is the y bucket y pot so if we put uh, minus 1 minus 1 value so 3 times minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 3 times this is become positive 2 minus 2 when you take more doubt it is become positive 3 times 2 minus 2 so 6 minus 2 4 so likewise we have to put all the values all the values and check all the values and out of that uh, we have to write as a so range is the all the values. So instead of doing this, the small technique is we will find the minimum value, minimum and maximum of this bucket. And we are writing, let's say minimum is alpha, maximum means beta. So y value between alpha and beta. So easily we can write like this. Now instead of assessing like this, we can look at the graph and look at the minimum y value and the maximum y value. So minimum y value is y equal minus 2 and the maximum y value is infinity. So then we can write a range as uh, two ways, either minus 2 greater than or equal to because equal also there y less than infinity or minus greater than or equal to y sorry y greater than or equal to minus 2 you can write like this as well but see now let's solve these two equations so as we discuss so this is a mod value if this is a star there are two stars plus and negative plus and minus so likewise this is uh, 3 mod x minus 1, one minus 2 so then uh, there are two options one is x minus one what positive value other one is x minus one is negative value 
so we'll take the positive one uh, tx equal 3x minus 1 minus 2 and tx equal half x plus 3 then uh, by substituting 3x minus 1 minus 2 equal half x plus 3 then 3x minus 3 minus 2 equal half x plus 3 so 3x minus half uh, that is uh, 2 point two and half x equal minus three minus two five so this is going to be five plus three eight so five over two x equal eight x equal eight times two over five sixteen over five to find y y equal sorry uh, find t x t now x equals 16 over 5 i need to find t x mean t 16 over 5 which is half a times uh, uh, 16 uh, the coordinate is uh, 16 over 5 t 16 over 5 so half a times 16 over 5 which is going to be 8 over 5 so 16 over 5 and 8 over 5. Now, half x plus 3. y tx equal half x plus 3. So this is a positive gradient and it's got so this is uh, 0 1 so this kind of graph so this is 0 3 and this point and this point now what is this equation we can see this value is negative positive then definitely it should be 16 over 5 uh, 16 over 5 and uh, 8 over 5 also we can see that uh, in this one the gradient 3x um, minus 3 minus 2 which is 3x minus 5 it mean this is the positive gradient and then this one is going to be the negative gradient equation i think this calculation is a bit of error um, this is half x plus 3 so half x plus 3 so basically this is 16 8 to 5 plus 3 so 8 plus this is uh, 15 over 5 23 over 5 so this is 23 over 5 and we'll solve the other equation so other one is the negative one tx equal 3 times negative 3x minus 2 minus 2 and tx half x plus 3 so minus 3x minus 1 minus 2 equal half x plus 3 minus 3x plus 3 minus 2 half x plus 3 so we'll this is going to be minus 7 over 2 x 1 and 2 so x equal minus 4 over 7 so the coordinate is minus 4 over 7 and t minus 4 over 7 we'll find t minus 5 over 7 now from here half a times minus 4 over 7 plus 3 that is minus 2 over 7 plus 3 so minus 2 21 over 3 19 over 7 so minus 4 over 7 19 over 7 
minus. Let's discuss uh, example 23, uh, fx equal 6 minus 2 mod x plus 3. Um, I like to write like this, minus 2 x plus 3 and these plus 6 are right here. Now what is the drawing plan here? So y equal x then y equal x plus 3 vertical so this is going to be something like this 0 3 and this is a minus 3 0 and y equal x plus 3 mod value it mean uh, uh, turn all the negative y to positive or mirror reflection of this one and then we'll before take two we'll take negative minus x plus three it mean turn now we make all y value to positive positive times negative negative turn all y values to negative it mean graph is going to be like this This is going to be 0 minus 3 and then y equal minus 2x plus 3. So we have to multiply all the y values by uh, 2. It means uh, something like this the graph still 0 times 3 so minus 3 0 as it is. So this is going to be um, 0 minus 6 because 0 minus 3 multiply by 2 0 times 2 times uh, 0 is 0 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 and then y equal minus 2x plus 3 and shift up by 6 units it mean this point become here so this is become 0 oh, this is minus 3 6 and this is become 0 0 and this should be minus 6 0 this is uh, minus 3 6 and um, 0 0 minus 6 0 So state the range of part A, state the range. So what is the minimum and the maximum Y value? Max is uh, 6, mini is infinity. So we'll write, uh, actually we'll write Fx um, minus infinity greater than Fx greater than uh, 6 or equal or we can write uh, fx less than or equal to 6 both right part b fx reason why f inverse does not exist inverse function so inverse exists if it's only 1 to 1 so You can see that if you take any in here, 
let's say this is y equal alpha we have the same y value we will give with two x values a and b so this is a alpha this is b alpha you can take this kind of point so if a also equal alpha if a also alpha so this point this is a this is a fake coordinate this is b this is uh, if b coordinate so if b equal alpha if a equal alpha if b equal alpha hence uh, function is many to one hence it is not one to one hence f inverse does not exist part three we want to solve fx greater than five what is the meaning of this one? This is also a y value. This is also y value. So we want to select the area we are going to tell in terms of x usually that fx greater than 5. Okay, we'll take this is uh, fx fx equal 5 so this is y y equal 5 look like so what is the area fx greater than 5 if you look at this point this is the height of fx and uh, so if you look at the value of fx here and if you look at the value of fx here, that is 5. So then in this point, the fx is greater than 5. In here also, fx is greater than 5. Here also, fx greater than 5. Here also, fx greater than 5. In here, fx equal to 5 in this intersection point. And if we come here, what will happen? fx less than 5. This area. Now, if you know that coordinate of this point, you can see from A to B. You can tell from a to B, fx is uh, greater than in here to here. It means greater than 5. Now, or we can write A greater than A to B mean x values. x greater than B is fx greater than 5. Now, we have to find this A and B value, the x coordinate of this. So we have to solve this equation now. So we will solve this equation. Um, fx equal 5 will solve. What is fx here? Minus 2 x plus 3 plus 6 equal 5. So we have two options now, minus 2, if this x plus 3, we'll put into a bucket, one is positive, other one is negative, plus 6 equal 5. Now we have two equations, minus 2 x plus 3 plus 6 equal 5, 1 minus 2 
times minus x plus 3 plus 6 equal 5. So minus 2x minus 6 plus 6 equal 5. This is cancel out. Minus 2x equal 5. X equal minus 5 by 2. So both have minus answers. So we have to look at this one. So this is minus times minus minus positive. So positive 2x plus 3 plus 6 equal 5. 2x plus 6 plus 6 equal 5. 2x equal uh, minus 7. So x equal minus 7 by 2. Which one? So minus 3.5 minus 2.5 so then this is minus 2.5 and minus 3.5 so we are writing minus uh, minus 3.5 or we can write 7 over 2 greater than x greater than minus 5 by 2 2.5 fx greater than 5 so this is the answer.